Welcome to Devo Gardens! Rock! Hey, real quick before we talk about the fall update for our urban garden, just want to let you guys know that I'm starting a gardening collective here in Las Vegas. It's called the West Las Vegas Gardening Collective. Look it up on Facebook. Now, our goal is to get 20 people to plant an area of 6x8 or 4x8 or whatever you can do in your backyard that's in that realm for one plant and then we're going to meet up once a month and we're all going to trade vegetables. Now, the whole idea is to just get a small community and together growing multiple different things and to just have it kind of be a cooperative. And I highly encourage you to do this in your hometown and try to get a group together to do some gardening so that you can all trade off. It's a great way uh, to get a lot of produce throughout the year and it's a good way to meet new people and to inspire others in your community to get gardening because gardening rocks! All right, so real quick, let's take a tour through our urban garden uh, that we had going this summer. So to be honest, Trisha and I were out in the back country uh, trying to isolate ourselves and uh, film outdoor videos. So we weren't at the garden a lot this summer, but that's okay because I got a drip system and it kept rocking anyways. Now we've already started to trim down a lot of things in the garden, but now that we've got a few open beds, I had to do some organic fertilizer to get ready to plant for the fall. Just spread that very nicely throughout the garden, and that'll make sure that you got enough stuff in the ground to keep your garden rolling through the winter. If you're gonna do an urban desert garden like we got, you know as well as I that I'll be picking tomatoes in January. So those of you where it's really cold, uh, fertilizer is probably not a huge issue for you right now. Uh, also, in the next episode, we're going to be putting a greenhouse around the entire garden um, so we could just keep this thing going all the way through winter. Uh, we're down here in Las Vegas, Nevada, so no reason to not use that available heat and sunshine that we have. Susie's Bug Spray! Rock! Now it's just neem oil and Castile soap mixed with water, um, so it's really gentle and you can spray it on your plants. And the neem oil is going to put a uh, protective coating over the top and then that soap will take care of a lot of the pest problems that you could be having at this point, like aphids, or in my case, tomato worms. Um, I'm just trying to protect my plants from getting eaten, especially now that I got mad peppers, I got uh, hatch green chilies, all sorts of those coming in. I've got tomatoes coming in. We still have fresh basil. Uh, the basil has flowered a little and I've been cutting it back and cutting it down for winter so it'll keep growing. It does give it more of a clove flavor, but I still really like how it tastes in my pasta. So I keep harvesting it and then just trimming it back. In fact, we're going to start trimming a lot of things back before we put the greenhouse on next weekend. I'm going to be trimming my peppers down um, after I harvest. And that's just a way to keep them going. They're totally going to grow back. I've had some peppers for two years, three years. Uh, so just trim those down and try to keep them warm this winter. We do have potatoes growing in the garden. Trish is growing onions and radishes, so we're gonna be putting those in. We've already planted our garlic. Garlic is really good at keeping pests and other bugs away, so I'd love to plant it, especially when I'm gonna do a greenhouse. Uh, just keep stuff out. You notice we have cilantro, and also on the rack over here uh, is our herb garden, where I've got sage, thyme, rosemary, and oregano, some of my favorites. Uh, for the winter is a really good time to start planting your herbs. Um, you can totally start them inside over the winter if you're in a cold climate and get them ready to go outside for the summer. But for me, I uh, love fall because it's definitely the time to get my garlic and all my herbs going so that my Italian cooking is good all winter. Um, especially because I've got tomatoes coming and I'm going to turn that into sauce for sure. Right here you can see the lemon tree that I got for Trisha um, and it's doing really good right now. I definitely say that you should probably water your fruit trees a little bit more than you would in other climates in the desert climate that we have here. Especially if you want it to bear fruit. The other thing I would do is get yourself some citrus fertilizer. Uh, yeah, the citrus food is also going to help that that tree pop as well. You didn't want to do it over the summer uh, in Las Vegas, like uh, August and September was still a little hot, definitely not July. Uh, it's too much acidity in the soil for it then. But now that it's starting to cool down, definitely fertilize your citrus plants and make sure that they've been getting enough water. Last thing, Trisha's about to start hover. Last thing, Trisha's about to start harvesting our compost and we've got the first bin done. 
and we've moved on to making a second bin. We're gonna filter that compost out and add that to other things we're doing in the garden because it's the best fertilizer that you can make yourself. So definitely think about getting yourself a compost area that you can set aside and get yourself a little compost bin that you can put in your kitchen that makes it easy to throw food scraps in. Um, just trying to make it as easy as possible for yourself to create your own fertilizer. Because fertilizer is metal, is, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure you're trimming those tomatoes and keeping those fingers in the dirt. It's so good having you here on Devo's Garden. Hope you had a kick and good time. And I will see you next episode when we make the greenhouse for winter. Because winter is coming! What did